Well, hello there. I'm going to uh, show you the differences between using a DSLR, in particular my Canon T3i, and the ASI 1600 that I have been using. I wasn't planning on doing this, but my the fan on my ASI 1600 uh, went uh, the other a couple a couple weeks ago, so that's being sent back to ZWO to be fixed so I'm using my T3i uh, for the next month or so so anyways uh, so I figured it would be a good idea to do a little tutorial on the differences between the two my T3i just to let you know is modified I had Hap Griffin over at Image Infinity uh, modify it so it picks up some hydrogen alpha um, that a normal camera wouldn't pick up. Anyways, here is the uh, screen. What it looks like with the with the DSLR. You'll notice there's a uh, few differences down below here. Uh, you'll notice it has exposure time, and it gives you a whole bunch of selections, which it doesn't do with the um, with the ASI or with any type of C. It gives you ISO. You can adjust the ISO to whatever your camera is uh, set at. It uh, gives you quality, so I'm going to have it take raw images as well as high quality JPEGs. And you can even select if you want to do AV, if you're going to do flats or something like that. It also has a bulb selection over here. and If you're taking a deep sky object for longer than 30 seconds, you would switch this thing over here to bulb and then you can put it however many seconds you want. And here's some other stuff which I really don't use. Anti-vibration stuff, I, I never had to adjust that. And white balance, I just leave it on automatic. Over here, this all looks pretty much the same as it does. And this screen is different. It's, a, it's because it's a color uh, camera, it'll show the red, green, the blue, and the light. And you notice I've got it on the moon right now. It's I've decided to do this today because it's warm and the moon's out. Unfortunately I don't have a clear view of the moon right now so I'm looking at it through some trees. And and I haven't shown you this before. This 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 appears I'm just sing out of the way. Actually yeah there we go. So here's the hand controller. I can center it by just uh, now that I got the the camera is uh, the mount is connected right here in the oh, oh, under gear. So that's pretty much the same. Everything else is the same. Just the camera uh, mode is uh, different when you're using a DSLR. But anyways, this uh, this always appears, and you can actually control. If you press up a little bit, you can control where you want to center your image that you're looking at. And this is what I do when I center uh, when I do an alignment. Uh, I use the camera to do my alignments, and I may show you how to do that in another video. Here, and you can. But press this up here. Uh, the crosshairs appear, so you can center stars uh, right into the crosshairs, which is really good. And I'm I'm controlling controlling my uh, mount through APT astrophotography tool. I'll turn this off. And the other thing that works in astrophotography tool, which uh, is different when using a DSLR, is the zoom function. Uh, you can see this. You can't really zoom it with uh, with a CCD camera, but with the DSLR you can. I'll go back out. And I've already got a DSLR screen open here. Here's what it looks like uh, with the DSLR. You'll see this. Uh, there's no picture here because uh, there's no DSLR or there's no uh, CCD camera hooked up. But this is what it would look like. The screen looks like, and notice the differences. The exposure is still the same, but the, it has a bin here rather than the uh, ISO and the bulb settings, uh, region of interest, and it has the cooling aid, warming aid, and settings you can adjust with your CCD camera. And these, this is what's really different um, as opposed to the DSLR, which gives you much different selections. Also, this, um, this logarithmic um, stretch uh, appears with the uh, CCD camera.
Anyway, this is just a little, a quick little video comparison to see any differences between using this and the DSLR. I probably missing some stuff, but I just wanted to show you a quick comparison since it's nice out. Uh, let me show you a couple other things here before I hang up on you. You can control the exposure. I've got it down to 2500. Watch what happens when I uh, make it 500, one five hundredth of a second. You'll see how much brighter it gets. I'll turn it back to uh, 2500. That seems to be a good good range, good dynamic range. You can also change the ISO reading. That'll adjust everything too. So that th this right here uh, adjusts the live viewing you're doing with your DSLR. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for now. I hope you found some use out of this uh, quick little video comparison. I apologize for any uh, mistakes that I've made. As I said, I'm, I, I just wanted to do it real quick and it's really nice at the moment uh, here in Connecticut, which doesn't happen that often in the wintertime. Anyways, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.